Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world of Wayne. And as you can see, I've got a new t-shirt, which can only mean one thing, we've got a new build. And this build's from Hashtag Partworks, it's Build Your Own, Mark 1A Spitfire. <laughs> Now, before you ask, I haven't got a clue where this t-shirt comes. Mrs. Welder Wayne got this for me. I think it's Amazon, but as soon as I find out, I will put it in the comments. But uh, this came out in trial in October, and you may have already seen my video uh, back then as well. I've already looked at the parts. I've already taken them out of the case because I wanted to see if there was a difference between the trial and what we've got here. And I'll tell you now, no difference whatsoever, which is a really good thing because it means that it was pretty much ready to go when the trial came out in October. Well, the big difference is, is we've got a new magazine, we've got new free gifts that are actually going with this trial because this is now in full run. And more importantly, we got a new advert. So the plane is going to be complete in 100 issues. The actual collection is 120 issues. Now in the last 20 issues, you're going to be getting a diorama which looks just like this on the screen here. And I'm sure you'll agree, that's absolutely amazing. I do like the figures for this. So once again, it's going to show us how we're going to be building the propeller section here. And we're going to be putting the propeller in a jig there just to create the actual geometry to make sure they're all lined up correctly. Uh, and that's all we've got to do, it's correct. So when it's finished, I'll show you a finished one that I've got here. It's going to look just like this and as you can see, when you turn it, the blades turn. And we have do we have got a nose cone as well, which is gonna go over the top just like that. Uh, but that's obviously not fitted in this issue. But I'm gonna show you how I build that uh, later on. These magazines really you wanna keep as well because the amount of history as you can see in here for the Spitfire, it's pretty amazing. Uh, in the next issue, which is coming in two weeks, we're gonna be having the motor for the propeller. And then if I show you the brochure that comes with this build, which looks like this, this again just shows you what you just saw on that advert there um, and some specifications for the Spitfire. Uh, we are also going to be getting issue three. Now issue three, when you subscribe, I believe is the free issue. Uh, it does tell you here what all your freebies are. Issue three is going to have some uh, assemblies for the engine block. But in your first delivery, you're going to get a free issue and you're also going to get a tin poster. Uh, in the third delivery, you're going to get a binder. In the fifth delivery, you're gonna get a mug, and I'll put these bigger on the screen here. The best one, look, in the 20th delivery, you get a plaque uh, for the Spitfire, but more importantly, this is personalized, so you'll have your name etched on that. Now, the thing is, make sure that your subscription name matches the name that you want on this plaque, uh, otherwise you're gonna have issues when it says made by, and it might have uh, a funny old name on that. But I do believe that Hashit will change that for you if you get in touch with them, and you have already subscribed uh, when that comes out. Uh, but that is, the Spitfire magazine, and uh, I'm really excited about this. I was excited about this in October, being the Battle of Britain year. I thought this would be good if it's released in that year, but now it is. Let's get cracking. 
Now this is everything you can get in the first pack and if I just put my hand there for size it'll give you an idea of the size of the whole craft. Now the length of this is going to be 510 millimeters, the height is 135 millimeters, the wingspan is going to be 620 millimeters. So uh, you can imagine how big this is going to be. Uh, but all we have to do first off is we need to take this propeller brace here and we're going to drop that in the jig. This is just a jig here, this isn't part of the uh, the uh, uh, plane at all. Then we need to take this cog which looks like a crown, look I can sit it on my finger like a crown there and then that's just going to go into the centre like that. Then we've got these propellers and as you can see on the propellers you've got a little notch like a key which is going to match the same features you've got with that there. So what we do is we just push these into there just like that and we do that with the other propeller blades as well. Now as you can see, if you're unsure just what way around they go in, they go in that way around. The first issue is a really quick issue. Now you do have these uh, problems with part works where when you do these, it gives you a false sense of security of uh, how easy they are, but you probably find that uh, this is an easy one, there will be challenging ones. Uh, but if you follow my build guide, you're not gonna go far wrong. Now, when we put that cog in, you see we've got a little notch just on there. Well, we've got the same sort of like, see there, embedding trench, if you like, just for them notches to go in. So that will tell you what way round these propellers are meant to go. So this notch here just needs to fit into the indent on the case in there. So that's the first one in. Put the second one in, just like that. And then last but not least, here's the third one. Make sure I'm putting it in the right way, that way. And that goes in just like that. And then we just need to hold this all together by putting the top of the case in on there. That just goes in like that. And that's held in with a PB screw. Uh, I've already got a PB screw in here actually when I was uh, mucking around with this earlier to see if there was any differences. So I'll get that screwed in. And that is pretty much all we have to do, put the nose cone on there, in that issue. Now, if I take this out the jig now, because it's all together, that's what the propeller's going to look like. Again, that's the size of my hand, so you can see how big it is. But once again, if I change the pitch of the propellers, as you can see, it changes the other two. Doesn't matter which one I, I use. And that's how that works. So, we've got two of these now, <laughs> because one is the trial, and one is the... Uh, the main full run one, and I'll be honest with you, because I said there's no difference, I don't know which one's what. <laughs> so I've got two propellers on the go. Uh, but there you go. Now normally I'll give you a history now about the Spitfire and all about it, but what I plan to do is at the end of February, probably the beginning of March, on a Saturday, I'm gonna be heading down to the Imperial War Museum in Duxford, which is near me here, uh, to have a look at some of the Spitfires and get some history, just pretty much like what I did with the Victory, uh, so we can walk around one of the planes and just make it a little bit more interactive. Now I know some of you uh, live near Duxford and Cambridge area and have asked if I'm going down there to let you know. If you just follow my social media, and I link that at the start, I'll let you know when that's gonna be. It's probably gonna be me and my brother and uh, Mrs. Welder Wayne that goes down there. My brother's actually a member of the uh, Duxford Society there. Um, he's actually taken this picture that you can see on the screen here of it. We are one of these families that are really into uh, anything that flies, flying, and uh, pretty much my whole family was uh, a military background in the RAF. So in fact, my dad was stationed at Duxford at one time, so that's good news. Uh, but this is something that's really appealing personally to me, and I can't wait to keep this going. As I said, the next issue for this is going to be out in two weeks in the shops, and then we'll start to see the orders come through for subscriptions uh, through the post when they actually come. So uh, I really do hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.